Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you own an Altera, an XR, a Tracker off-road, or a Textron off-road, a 550 or 700 model, they're pretty much all the same. In this video, I'm going to show you a little tip I did to save some extra wear from happening on my ATV. So there's the little bracket right there. It's got the four holes, four bolts. It goes into the existing bolt holes for the rear bumper. And then that just spaces it off, just like that. As you can see in these pictures, when I was building it, I got these little brackets made, painted them up nice, stuck them on there, and you can see how much space I have now. Gained me about an inch. But as before, you would put these bumpers on and it would rub on the rear fender right below the tail lights because of how much wobble is on that rear plastic. Now it doesn't stick out super far. It still fits up there pretty good. So that's a little tip. Hope that helps you out. If you have one of these, just make a little bracket right there. This is quarter inch steel. These are quarter inch holes in here. We've got some bolts in here and that spaces the rear bumper off. Just a little add-on that I made because I didn't want that little wear on the rear of the ATV plastic. All right guys, that's about it for this video. Just a little tip for you on the rear bumper. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up down below if you like this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another outdoor adventure video here on Arctic Frost. See you in the next one.